How's it going, YouTube? Today I got another Causer. Got the Pelican Mini. It's a K Max ROM design. Model number is V4548N1. Made in China. I mean, this is an older Causer, so it's got the same box as all the other ones, but it does not have extra hardware. Pretty much all it has is paperwork and this cloth just minus the dirty here's the knife you got a beautiful contoured micarta it's worth noting that I've heard that there's another an older version of this with flat micarta there's also a titanium version got thumb stud deployment only You got a unique blade shape with this guy. You got a kind of a harpoon shape. So when you hold it, your thumb rests right in that curve, which is very nice. You got a 3.34 inch black washed blade with partial flat grind. And it's an N690 steel. What well, Kaiser used before 154 CM, which is not bad. I guess it's somewhere around 14C28N or Nitro V. That's all right for the price. Blade stock on this is 2.8 millimeters or 0 0.110. And this knife measures in at 7.9 inches. So it's a full size knife. Let's do a few size comparisons. Kaiser Towser K. Giant Mouse Ace Grand. Now they're all about the same length. One thing worth noting is I think the micarta on the Kaiser is better than the $200 Giant Mouse. Some people might not like that, but it's my opinion. The Sinka Watuga. Which you didn't know is a city in Texas. And the CMB Predator 2. Predator 1's the same size also. All about the same length. So it's a good full size knife. Probably wouldn't be able to carry it if it was in a state over three inches though. Definitely not. Got good access to the liner, liner lock, as you can see. Good action. You got a 4.5 inch handle, 0.47 inches width, a wide, and closed in the pocket. The widest point is about 1.3 inches. You got a non-reversible deep carry clip comes up to about right here in your pocket so not too bad it is covering up one of the body screws though it's not really a big deal and this knife what I've noticed five minutes ago is it has T8 screws except for the pocket clip and all newer Kaisers come with T6's I looked on another older Kaiser I have and it was T8s too. So it seems like Kaiser has regressed in that area, which I'm not sure why. I guess it saves them a few bucks. Another thing I really like about this knife is it has inset liners, which is my favorite. No liners showing here. I do wish it had a backspacer though. There's no lanyard spot. I'm not sure if you could tie one around one of the yeah barrel spacers. I doubt it. In the hand, pretty comfortable knife. You can feel the pocket clip. I'm not sure how uncomfortable that would be with long periods of cutting. But the more I squeeze on it, yeah, it probably would be uncomfortable long periods of cutting but I'm sure or not sure that the titanium Kaiser clip would fit on here but I'm betting it would it 
detent on this knife is a little stout. You can hear it too. You can reverse flick it, thumb flick it. I've already had it apart. It's on ball bearings, like all newer causers. And it's worth noting there's a, a concept pelican too. I believe it's designed by the same person, but I'm not totally sure. Don't have one. So yeah, this knife runs seventy-two dollars normally. I got it on sale on Amazon for fifty percent off. That's the only reason I bought it. Um, I will link it down below regardless, but maybe it'll still be on sale by the time you watch this. If not, it'll be on sale again because it is an older model. Um, my dislikes of this knife are some of the some, same ones as other Kaisers. The billboarding. Don't like the big logo. And unlike other Kaisers, it's T8, so nothing to complain about on that. Does not have much of a sharpening tool though. The plunge grind ends right at the edge, so eh, they could have done better with that. And since it's black washed, if you grind some of this blade away, it is going to show. I don't see. Yeah, there's no stop pin in the way, so you could grind some away, but this is the only way this knife comes with black micarta, black blade. Unless you get the titanium version, it has a satin or stone wash blade. Um, and my last thing, I wouldn't mind the detent being a little bit lighter, but it is breaking in, and I can deal with that. So, overall, really like this knife. It's not your average drop point or one cliff. It's, you don't see a lot of harpoon shaped blades out. Not sure how practical it is, but I'm sure it'd be just fine with any daily task so yeah um subscribe if you haven't already leave a comment like the video see you in the next one